kids. Thanks for joining us for story time today. This is Kate at Roscoe's Rescue Ridge with my um, volunteer assistant here. And he's going to be helping me do story time with two of our three little pigs today. We have uh, Wilbur behind us here who's getting tummy scratches and uh, Wilma who's wandered off for the moment, but maybe she'll come back in a minute. Guess what today's story is? You guessed it, the three little pigs, of course. Our other pig is hiding in the house over there. So let's get started. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a cozy cottage on the hill. They loved to eat all the delicious food their mother made them every day. They ate so much that it wasn't long before the three little pigs had grown so big that there was no room for them in the cozy little cottage anymore. I'm sorry, said their mother one morning, but it's time you made your way on your own in the world. What do you think of that? <laughs> so the very next day, the three little pigs left home. Don't forget to watch out for the big bad wolf, called their mother as she waved goodbye. He'll eat you for supper, so you'll need to build a big, fine, strong house as quickly as you can to keep him away. Don't worry, Ma, they oinked. We can look after ourselves. And the three little pigs trotted off down the hill, each taking a different path. Speaking of taking a different path, hi, Wilma. Okay. It wasn't long before the first little pig met a farmer pulling a cart filled with straw. Please, may I have some straw to build a house, asked the little pig. Of course, replied the farmer, but a straw house won't be very strong. But the little pig didn't listen. Soon he was busy stacking the bundles of straw for his new house. In no time at all, the house of straw was finished and the little pig went inside for a nap. He had just shut his eyes when there was a knock at the door. And who do you suppose that was? It was the big bad wolf and he was hungry. Little pig, little pig, let me in, growled the wolf. No, cried the little pig, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, laughed the wolf. And that's just what he did. There it goes. Meanwhile, the second little pig was walking along the road when he saw a woodcutter piling up sticks. May I buy some sticks, he asked politely. I want to build a house. Of course, answered the woodcutter, but a house made of sticks will soon fall down. But the second little pig wasn't listening. He was much too busy planning his new stick home. <laughs> Meanwhile, the second little pig was walking along the road when he saw... A, whoop, we're missing the page here. My bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, soon the house was finished. The little pig had just sat down for rest when there was a knock at the door. It was the big bad wolf. He was even hungrier now. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he growled. No way, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, cried the second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, cried the wolf. And that's exactly what he did. So that's two piggies' houses that are gone. Meanwhile, the third little pig had met a builder. Please, may I buy some of your bricks to build my house, he asked. <laughs> of course, replied the builder. A fine, strong house of bricks will last forever. The third little pig took the builder's advice. He would build the strongest house in the land. Finally, after a hard day's work, just one day, huh? The house was finished. It had four strong walls of brick and a tiled roof and a sturdy wooden door and a large fireplace with a chimney. He was a very busy pig. The third little pig just had put a pot of turnips on the fire to boil when he saw his brothers running down the road, closely followed by the big bad wolf. Quick, he cried. 
hide in here. The wolf, who was very hungry by now, banged on the sturdy front door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, he growled, his tummy rumbling very loudly with hunger. No way, not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins, cried the three little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, laughed the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. But the brick house stood firm. The wolf was furious. He climbed up onto the roof and shouted down the chimney, if I can't blow your house down, I'll come down the chimney and gobble you all up. And what do you suppose happened then? The big bad wolf jumped and landed with a huge splash right in the pot of turnips, boiling on the fire below. He yelled! He leaped up with a scream and ran out of the house, never to be seen again. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after in the house made of bricks.